Business closures, stay at home orders. All of this is affecting the bottom line for many of our businesses and many cash registers have gone silent and other businesses have had to adjust. WMAR 2 News, Don Harrison tells us tonight about a select few that are seeing record numbers. As the numbers climb for the coronavirus, businesses are seeing cash registers closed or down significantly. A few businesses are thriving. One of them is liquor stores. Wheeler Baker and his family have owned Baker's Liquors for 50 years on Kent Island. When word of shutdowns hit, his customers came flooding in. I would say it was um, equal to New Year's Eve. Uh, Christmas Eve is generally our biggest day. Uh, didn't reach that, but. At Baker's Liquor, they sell bread and milk as well. We had no bread to sell, so we loaded up with toilet paper and sold that. But I'll guarantee you, nobody had this John Wayne toilet paper. This is my favorite roll of toilet paper. It's rough, it's tough. It doesn't take well, you get the idea here at Chesapeake Outdoors. They are closed now for the safety of their workers and the public. But when they were open, gun sales were up quadrupled or more, maybe even more you know, ever, more gun sales than we've ever seen. Liquor, guns and ammunition have been selling like hotcakes. There's one other product that's pot. A huge run on our store. Ashley Colin, along with her sister, owns Ash and Ember in Centerville. They sell medical marijuana, and turns out pandemics are good for business. Her dispensary is having problems like we have at the grocery stores. And there's definitely some toilet paper type hoarding going on with the grows right now uh, in this situation because a lot of the grows own their own dispensaries, so they're funneling a lot of their own stuff to their own dispensaries. At some point, all this will revert back to the usual, but I guess some are happy now they have stocked up. On the eastern shore, Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.